good day to all in previous videos we discussed about uh, metal characteristics and how can we study the phase diagrams likewise we discussed and then what is the relationship between thermodynamics and the phase diagrams likewise we discussed today we can discuss the topic with the related uh, to metals and the casting processes relationship myself dr b suresh kumar department of mechanical engineering k ramakrishnan college of technology tirupati in that manufacturing processes generally the manufacturing processes is started with the metallurgy so in metallurgy we should melt the materials for creating the initial raw material for secondary process so that the every manufacturing processes is started from metallurgy after that it may moves to casting process for making a blooms stalks and the ingots after that it may moves to forming for creating the secondary process objects okay and then this process is not to maintain the uh, hardness property and also it with it, it stores the uh, internal stress so that we should remove the internal stress and uh, improve the strength properties hardness through the heat treatment process after that we may go for joining process metal joining process with the aid of welding we can join the similar or dissimilar materials with each other after joining we may need a surface cleaning process for removing the spatterings and surface roughness available with the material surface so that surface cleaning process is the next process after that we may coat the materials with the aid of physical vapor deposition and chemical vapor deposition coating and thermal spray coating likewise we can coat the surfaces finally we may go to recycling process recycling we carried out for producing the new product with the aid of already available or old products in markets or otherwise in applications so these are all the sub categorization sub topics available with the manufacturing processes after that uh, we can move to what are all the casting processes are available with the uh, different materials before going into this we should aware about what are all the sub topics available after melting the materials we may move to design process what are all the steps available with the design process means based on the material critical properties we have to have determine whether the part will be made from metal plastic ceramic or composites likewise we make a decision with the the critical properties available with the material and then we may can move to level 2 in level 2 you can discuss determine whether metal parts will be produced by deformation process deformation process means metal forming process which can be wrought or a yeah, casting process or the product can be manufactured with the aid of casting process for plastic uh, we can determine whether they will be thermoplastic or thermosetting polymers the plastics which are manufactured from thermoplastics or thermosetics we can determine after that our level is moved to next chase narrow options to a broad category of material metals can be further divided into categories such as carbon steel stainless steel and copper alloys likewise we can categorize the materials with respect to carbon content available with the workpiece material or otherwise metals to be application okay out of the plastics can be subdivided into specific classes already we i told thermoplastics and thermosets such as polycarbonates and polyesters and then finally we can select a specific material according to a specific grade or specification these are all the steps available in between metallurgy after that uh, manufacturing process in between the manufacturing process and the metallurgy there are design process available the design process follows these levels so now we can apply the phase diagrams for choosing the materials is the initial step so that application of alloy phase diagram in processing includes their use to select the proper parameters for working in cards blooms and the billers with the aid of casting process we can manufacture in cards blooms and the billers for producing these we can determine the specific parameters for a secondary process so finding causes and the cures for micro porosity and the cracks in castings and the welds the castings it may be that part is moved to welds weld is this the secondary manufacturing process which can be controlled by heat treating 
the solution heat treating process is used to control the material property and also we can prevent the damage caused by incipient melting during the melting there is the alloy formation available after that the allotropic process after that crystallography process available in that there may be a crack there may be a any damages available we can prevent the damage with the aid of heat treatment process and also the micro pro from the heat treatment process and developing a new processing technology for achieving the good materials for applications in that now we can discuss the process in casting process there are by right, sand casting investment casting die casting injection molding structural foam molding blow molding for the extrusion and with the blow molding with the injection and the rotational molding likewise start of uh, casting process and our molding processes are available in that uh, the cast iron can be produced with the sand casting preferably investment casting also but we can't produce the cast iron materials with the die casting injection molding structural foam molding blow molding and the rotational molding here you can see different variety of casting processes for example if you are consider the carbon steel we can process that carbon steel with the sand casting process and the investment casting process but this material can't produced with the die casting injection molding structural foam molding blow molding blow molding injection and rotational molding likewise in boiler axillaries we may utilize alloy steels in that sand casting and investment casting preferably applicable but die casting injection molding structural foam molding to rotational molding we can't utilize and then stainless steel also we can utilize the process of sand casting and investment casting and aluminum and aluminum alloy we can utilize die casting maybe a pressure casting or otherwise natural die casting we can utilize the die casting for aluminum and aluminum alloy materials and also we can utilize sand casting investment casting but we can't utilize injection molding structural foam molding blow molding and the rotational molding if i consider the copper and the copper material alloys for thermal conductivity property applications i consider sand casting investment casting and also die casting preferably i can choose these are all the three casting process i can utilize for we can utilize for copper and the copper alloys and then what about the zinc and the zinc alloys zinc and the zinc alloys sand casting and the investment casting preferably we can select but we can perfectly select die casting for the applications of uh, zinc manufacturing and then magnesium and the magnesium alloys we can utilize sand and die casting preferably we can choose the investment casting and then titanium titanium is a newer material and also it has its inherent properties to the applications so the from the sand casting and investment casting we can produce the titanium and the titanium alloy components and the nickel and nickel alloys we can produce with the sand casting and the investment casting but other casting processes like die casting and the rotational molding we can't utilize for making a nickel and the nickel alloys and then refractory materials we can produce the refractory materials preferably with the sand casting and the investment casting but we can't utilize the die casting and the rotational molding for producing the refractory materials it differently because the process behaves with the plastic materials so if i consider thermoplastics for application means i can't produce with thermoplastics with the sand casting investment casting and die casting but it can be produced with the injection molding structural foam molding blow molding and the rotational molding likewise thermoset plastics already you are aware about what is the difference between thermoplastics and the thermoset plastic uh, if i recycle means if i if the plastic can be recycled means we can named as that plastic material as thermoplastic if uh, we can't recycle the materials means uh, which are all the materials called as uh, thermoset plastic so these kind of thermoset plastic can be manufactured with the sand casting investment casting and the die casting preferably we can utilize the injection molding for producing the thermoset plastic materials so these are all the manufacturing processes we can utilize for making a comp materials with the aid of a casting process and then finally with the aid of uh, asm metals handbook we can discuss different materials with uh, different temperature because of uh, temperature behavior we may utilize uh, the different uh, casting process because 
based on the melting point instead of the freezing point we can choose the different temperature for specific application of uh, materials so if i consider the 0 to 500 melting temperature means i can utilize tin and polymers for uh, the materials okay here i consider 0 to 500 or the more than 500 means uh, i can utilize the materials with the tin and uh, polymers but the process is named as polymer molding after that i can vary the temperature from 500 to 200 in between there are a lot of processes available and also i can utilize the different materials for example if i consider lead means i can utilize the temperature of less than 1000 degrees celsius so that for producing the lead components with the aid of sand casting and full mold casting, centrifugal casting, plaster mold, ceramic mold, shell casting, investment casting, pressure die casting, uh, gravity die casting and uh, different uh, pressure die casting methods all are we, I can utilize for making a lead components and then sink the temperature uh, ranges are different so we can I can utilize uh, the lead to platinum to the temperature lying between 2000 to 500 degrees celsius so that i can utilize sand casting full mold casting centrifugal casting plaster casting ceramic casting shell casting so these kind of variety of casting process i can utilize to make a different components with the lead magnesium zinc aluminium gold silver copper super alloys cast iron ship seeds cobalt nickel titanium and then platinum zirconium these materials i can produce with the aid of this important casting process if the temperature beyond 2000 means the chromium for example if you are considered chromium um, molybdenum these are all uh, having the higher melting point so we can't utilize the process as like uh, this sand casting full mold casting so what are all the processes we can utilize for chromium molybdenum means electro forming and chemical vapor deposition electron beam casting powder methods and uh, electro forming chemical vapor deposition likewise we can utilize the different process for chromium molybdenum mobium tantalum tungsten for producing the components with the chromium molybdenum mobium and tantium and tungsten means we can utilize powder metallurgy electro forming and chemical vapor deposition chemical beam casting physical vapor deposition, electro forming and sputtering. These are all the processes we can utilize for more than 2000 degree Celsius melting temperature carrying materials. Thank you all. Now you are aware about uh, what are all the relationship available with the metals and the casting processes so that we can choose the casting process with respect to the melting temperature and the and the material characteristics. Thank